Oh, there's a bite. There's a bite. Got him. There's a fish. There's a fish. Got him. There's a fish. There's a fish. Oh, that's a decent too. morning folks welcome to another video it is an absolutely beautiful morning right here in pensacola florida it's a cold morning all right it's 36 it's almost march like i'm ready for it to warm up a little bit but that being said we're getting after it today we're going off-road again y'all like the last off-road video we're going to a spot i've never hit before in hopes to find some new fishing spots one thing i love to do on this channel is locate new areas and new ways to catch fish we got the truck loaded down. I'm gonna make a quick pit stop to get bait and we're gonna go see if we can catch us some fish. Let's rock and roll. To me, the most interesting part of these exploration adventures is you could be wasting your time. You never know, you may get down here, there may not be access, may not be parking. The fishing may suck. Apparently we gotta check the tire pressure on the old truck. We aired up, we got a full tank, now we can go fishing. We are headed into the backwoods now. You know, a lot of this area is management area, but one concern I do have is part of it's the Air Force Base too. And so I don't know if we're gonna be able to get to where I'm wanting to go because um, unless we can bypass this Air Force Base, which I'll see here in a second. That is definitely the Air Force Base right there, that area that's closed off. But it looks like we're going to get to bypass it, all right? We're headed off-road right now. There's a little pond right there, and I am so tempted to go make a cast in there, but I'm not going to. I know where I'm trying to get, and I'm, I may make a cast there on the way back, though. We got a couple miles left until we get here, so no way. Is this a parking lot? Yes, it is. All right. Well, folks, we have arrived. It looks like there's water access. Dude, I'm seeing the water. Yeah. Check that out, all right? The water is right through there, so <laughs> let's go down here and see what it's all about. I did pick up a bunch of shrimp on my way here. My hope is that we find some water deep enough. We got a pretty strong north wind, and I think that a lot of this water is going to be blown out today. And so, uh, oh, oh my gosh, dude. No way. Oh my gosh. My shrimp bucket came apart. Holy cow. That is not good. That is a disaster to just start the, just start the day with a disaster. <sighs> Holy cow, how did that happen? Look, it just broke. This right here just broke. Okay, dang. I gotta run down to the actual water here and get some more water for the shrimp. <laughs> What a way to start the day. Oh yeah, look at this guys. Now, just as I suspected, the water is blown out really bad. Is it that strong north wind front that we've got going on right now? <sighs> That's okay. I've got a cork, a circle hook right here, a live shrimp. We're gonna be putting the shrimp under the cork, but here's the problem that we're dealing with. Since the water's blown out, I'm gonna have to walk a long ways to get to some areas that I can fish. So we're gonna have to go on foot because I do see some deeper spots on Google Maps, but this ain't one of them. If you look, it's just the water is so blown out right here, it's not even funny. And so we're just gonna have to, we're gonna have to go on a hike. Uh, woo! Dude, I can sight fish one from up here. Whoa, oh, 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 dang. I almost ate it. So it's been a couple of hours and I haven't really even fished that much because I've been waiting on the tide to come in. The tide has been just unfishably low and I've walked probably a good mile and a half from where I started trying to find an area that I think 
might produce fish. So check this out right here. As you can see now, we finally have a little more water in here, which is nice. And so we're gonna start fishing and just see if we can make something happen. When you're fishing something brand new, doing something brand new, it can be really tough to uh, locate these fish. And that's what's happening right now with me. I switched over to a white gulp shrimp just because I can cast that shrimp a little better in the wind here. And so I'm hoping that's gonna give me an opportunity to hook up on something. It's a beautiful area, I can tell you that. Gonna wade out a little bit it looks a little bit deeper right over in here so i'm gonna wade into there, there we have nothing this white gulp always can produce something for me when i am not catching anything else i can tell you that and i am seeing some mullet so anytime i'm seeing mullet i'm like hey that's good. That's that's solid. All right. You would think there'd be a fish around these rocks right here. Give me a thumbs up if you like these exploration adventures because they're fun for me. I enjoy the exploring aspect of it and I enjoy, you know, finding new things, finding new ways to fish. Look at this little trail right here. Where is, does this go? Uh-oh, I gotta go down this trail and just look for a minute. Whew. It's kind of spooky, not gonna lie. I wonder if this leads to like this little canal that I was looking at. Oh, there's deer tracks. This has gotta lead to something. I thought there was water down here to fish. That's why I'm coming down here, but it does not look like there is. And if there is, I ain't going that much further into these parts. I will say this, it is a beautiful day, even if we're not catching much yet. I still am confident we're gonna catch something. All right. So I'm seeing mullet, and anytime I'm seeing mullet, that's gonna give me confidence that there are some bigger fish nearby so we are going to keep fishing for a little while ah, oh there's a big mullet school out there Got him. There's a fish. There's a fish. Oh, that's a decent too. <laughs> we have finally hooked up, y'all. That's a good fish. That is a really nice fish. Woohoohoo! Y'all. <laughs> and this ain't a small guy. Oh, yeah. Look at him out there. Look at his big tail. Oh, yeah. Come on. Come on. Woohoohoo! He's a good one. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Get on up here. Get on up here. What a fish. You know why this fish is so cool? because this is something new i've never done this in my entire life right here <sighs> look at what a beautiful redfish coming in here y'all come here come here check this bad boy out right here what an absolute tank of a redfish that is so cool let's get the release oh there he goes there he goes it made the whole day oh we're gonna keep fishing
look at this. There's like a little saltwater pond back in here. Holy cow. Okay. I got to fish this for sure. I don't know. Oh, look, there is fish in it. There's fish in it. I don't know if those were mullet or what, but there's fish in it. This is cool. There's got to be a fish back in here, though. Ah. I would think there would have to be a fish. Ooh, ooh. I thought I just got bit. Maybe not. I switched over to an NLBN just to... Uh, Give myself a different, give them a different look. It's deep enough in here to hold fish. Is that a bot? Oh, I thought maybe that I, something is nipping that, something's grabbing that tail, dude. Look, my thing's messed up. There is definitely some fish in here, but they're not big. I think they're super small. Oh, there's a bite. There's a bite. Got him. There's a fish. There's a fish. Oh, it's a little guy. <laughs> I knew there was going to be a rat red in here. Y'all check this out. <laughs> oh, man. Beautiful little rat red. I caught one in the little pod. That's what I wanted to do. I wonder if there's another one in here. So I am gonna start heading back. It has been an amazing day, but it has been hard fishing and I'm ready to get back home. <laughs> I hope you enjoy these exploration adventures. Folks, if you enjoyed that video, go ahead and shoot me a big thumbs up. Everything I'm involved with is linked in my description below. I'm a licensed real estate agent right here along the Florida Gulf Coast. If you have any real estate needs or know anyone that does, I will be happy to help. All my information is linked in the description below. I'll be happy to answer any questions that you may have. Spring is right around the corner. And so if you are coming down this year, uh, if you're vacationing to the area, stop at our outdoor store beach bum outdoors and uh, check it out if you haven't had the chance to and if you do stop by let us know how you like it in the comments below other than that folks we'll catch you next time